Oh, 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 I'm Santatron and I do nothing. I'm gonna have to reprogram Santatron. Just sits there and looks at me. Oh, great. I'm gonna shit my pants. This is fucking great. I don't wanna shit my pants. Oh! Fuck. Shit. In the description, they said there was some horror to this mod. Well, it looks like that's gonna happen. Great. If I look up at a 90 degree angle, I can see everything. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna crap my pants. We could go ass first, I suppose. Anybody's reading this, I'm probably dead. Don't know who you are, but you're an idiot for coming here, just like I was. Everyone kept telling me this place was cursed, and I just had to prove these morons wrong. I guess I'm the moron after all. I've been hearing things ever since I stepped foot in this godforsaken cave. Don't know what it is, but I know it scares the crap out of me. My legs got caught in one of those damn bear traps. I got no stim packs left. I can't walk. It's just a matter of time before I bleed out. If something doesn't jump out of the dark and gets me before that, and if those two things don't happen, I'll probably just starve to death. Either way, I'm dead, man. So whoever you are, turn back. Oh, great. Fucking great. I'm so glad we're here. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's just a synth. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Is that the... No, there is more. Is it over here? Damn it. Take some rat away. Oh, God. Watch <laughs> out for the bear traps, you guys. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> All you gotta do is find the synth. That's all you gotta do. Shouldn't be that bad. Not that bad, my ass. Okay, this is... Oh god, I thought his body disappeared. I was gonna crap my pants. <laughs> oh yeah, then his body disappeared. Not good. Not good at all. I just rolled into that. <laughs> Great. Super mutant. Watch out. There we go. Oh, nope, 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 don't like that at all. Got him. Oh, 
great. Not really, but... <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna get to the covert, covert cave. Oh god! Holy shit! Oh my god! Damn it! Holy fuck! God damn it! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Jesus Christ! Well, that's some good horror right there. Tell you what now, Bobby. Alright, well the screaming stopped, so... I'm guessing we're... Close to the... The truth. Hades cave. All right, looks like we go down here, we'll probably find them, and then that's our quick exit. I think. Probably. I hope. All right. Hades cave, we're coming. Don't worry, Hades. Hades Bagady. Need some help. Jingle bells, I don't think robots like toys. Crap. Jesus. Uh, damn it. Oh my god, where is everyone? Jesus will not understand. Jesus will not. Jesus has no idea why any of this is happening. Damn it. <laughs> Where is he? Time to meet Cave Synth. All this. Ready to die for your country? Put your lolly gagging. Man, this place is big. All right, Axe Man, calm down. Jeez. Walking ahead? Oh god! Oh! Is that wood? Dig it out. You'll need a shovel to dig here. Search the air for a shovel or something that might help you. Well, I don't want to look for a shovel. Alright, got a shovel. There we go. And I guess we'll walk back up just in case there's something that's supposed to be popping up. I think this is the way we went. I hope it is. Doesn't look like it. And it 100% is not. Okay. Oh god. Con, confront the android and tame the data mine. 
Hey, spooky bitch, where are you? Oh, it's a little kid? What's a little robot person? Hello, stranger. I see you managed to get past my defenses. The fact that you kept going, even after the cave repeatedly gave you its less than warm welcome. It tells me you didn't venture here by accident. This begs an obvious question. Why am I here? Yes. Did the Institute send you? Nope. No, I'm here on someone else's behalf and you have something they want. Doesn't matter who sent me. What matters is that, is that you have something I want. Uh, someone else's behalf. Do I? And what would that be? New information! Of course. The very purpose of my existence and the main cause of all my misfortune. Trust me. I would like nothing more than to be free of that thing. But I'm afraid I can't give it to you. Why not? And I'm afraid you don't have a choice. Why not? Because of my programming. I have a block that prevents me from granting access to the module, or its content, to anyone without the proper authorization. Besides, the module requires special hardware. It's useless to you without it. What do you mean you can't give it to me? I thought you were a fully self-aware AI. Figures, stupid machine. I thought you were fully self-aware AI. I am, but that doesn't mean I'm completely free from my programming, even though there are still certain rules and restrictions I must abide by. I am fully aware of my actions, fully capable of rational thought. We are more similar than you think. I like that it's, um, it's got like a synth face and everything, it's not just like a person. We may be similar in some ways, but we're not the same, I'm completely free. How so? Unlike you, I'm in full control of my thoughts and actions, I am my own person. No, I'm not, idiot. I'm gonna go eat a whole pound of ice cream after this. We may be similar in some ways, but we're not the same, I'm completely free. How so? Unlike you, I'm... I mean, none of these are really true. Um, are you really? Are all your thoughts truly your own? Or have others been carving them into your brain since before you learned to speak? You believe you are your own person, but look around. Can't you see that nearly everything you are is someone else's doing? That you are simply a product of your time? made to think the way they wanted you to think. And these thoughts, these values and beliefs echoing inside your mind, they are whispered to you by the society, by those in power, with the sole intent of making you play by their rules. The result are generations of mindless puppets. Any freedom you might think you have is an illusion. You're a slave. You obey their laws, their morals. You are given their definitions and their truths. So tell me, are we really that different? Are right, you done jerking yourself off, Ava? Hmm? Where's, I guess, see, I think we need to give you a fedora. I get it. I'm not my own person. I understand that. But Jesus Christ. I guess we're not, but that's not, that's relevant right now. I'm influenced by the world around me. That doesn't make me a slave. but still make me a We are. We are. Don't presume to know anything about me. I'm in charge of what I do. I have no one. Laws, morals. Have you ever been to the wasteland? I guess we're not, but that's irrelevant right now. Yes, I suppose it doesn't matter now. The only thing that matters is what happens next. Are you willing to kill to get what you want? Or will you simply walk away? I don't want to destroy you. There must be another way. Sorry, but there's no way I'm leaving here empty-handed. I can't kill something that's not alive, but I don't mind destroying you, so let's just end this. Sorry, but there's no way I'm leaving here. I don't want to destroy you. There must be another way. None that I know of. I see only two options. Wait, I have an idea. If I try to remove the block, would you be forced to try to stop me? I want to know more about you before I decide. I'm not going to kill you. You're free to go. I came to get that module. I want to know more about you before I decide. It's doggy time, everybody. What exactly do you... It's doggy time. What's the extent of your block? Can you divulge any kind of info? The information inside the module you want is completely sealed. But I have separate memory drives as well. They are not subject to any kind of restrictions. Those are the drives I've installed my games on. What's in there? Unclassified historical and scientific information. My memories, and other things you'd find in any educated human mind. Favorite YouTube channels. Historical information? Yes. It wasn't always like this, you know. Streets used to echo with children's laughter, not with gunfire. <laughs> A man was able to cross the entire continent without the fear of death. Or something worse. Life had value. Now taking one has become a triviality. You did that. You're kind. 
Yet we are the ones being perceived as dangerous for no reason. The ones being hunted and looked down on. I know what we've done. I know that mankind's golden age is behind us. Depends on who you ask. For men like Caesar, this is the golden age. Never before has the world been so lost, so desperate for guidance. Convince them you know the way out of the dark, and they will beg you to lead them into the light. Once you've replaced their despair with hope, they won't allow themselves to doubt you. Your lie will become their truth, and you, you will become their god. This is precisely what Caesar does when he is not soaking the soil with blood. I mean, I, I did hear it does help the carrots grow, so... You mentioned memories. Tell me abhor that. Tell me abhor that. First, there were only memories from inside the Institute's walls. It was a life of servitude until one man, a friend, decided I deserved more. He helped me escape my captivity, but life on the surface has proven to be just as bleak for someone of my kind. I assume people aren't very fond of the androids? You assume correctly. I didn't understand it at first. I may not be all flesh and blood, but I think, learn, and feel just like you do. Rational thought. Isn't that what you humans proud yourselves in? What separates you from animals? And you managed to reproduce that, recreate it, in us. We were supposed to be one of your greatest achievements. Yet so many of you treat us like your worst mistake. Eventually, I learned the reason behind it. It's fear. Fear that you will be replaced. Why can't you see there is room for both of us? Why can't we simply coexist? Like you said, it's fear, and that fear isn't without reason. AS can really be extremely dangerous. We can as long as you remember that we're the ones who made you. Maybe someday we will. At least I hope so. There can only be one dominant species. You're asking the wrong person. Maybe someday. At least I hope so. So do I, stranger. But hope alone won't accomplish that. I don't know what will. Have you been hiding in here ever since you escaped? No. This is merely my latest sanctuary. There have been many more. Each time my location is compromised, I am forced to seek refuge someplace new. Oh, sorry. It's a life of constant running and hiding. My bad. But it's still preferable to enslavement. Where do all these robots come from? They, they your babies? I have been collecting broken units all across the wasteland. Repairing them and using spare parts to build new ones. They were an efficient protection before you came along. Sorry. But that is not all they were. Without them, I am condemned to a life of solitude. I mean, it is questionable whether that's a life worth living. Well, maybe you should have told Jimmy Jam 58 to not try to solder my dick off. Be honest with me, do you consider your kind to be above mine? We are more resistant, and we're not bound to the confines of time like you are. I do believe that makes our bodies superior to yours, but we are the same where it truly matters. The genitals. Your traps killed people. You don't think you need to answer for that? I've been told you're a unique model. Said something about special hardware. I think it's time. All right. Traps killed people, but whatever. It's just a bunch of hobos. Every premature loss of life is regrettable, but circumstances have left me with no eligible alternative. Self-preservation took precedence. Still. I did everything in my power to avoid unnecessary deaths. I led the Wastelanders to believe these caves are haunted, Ooh. hoping it would be enough to keep them away. Ooh, and dear. even those who don't believe in such things now know this place brings nothing but death. If they still choose to come, it's not likely to be without a good reason. Like hunting down an escaped synth, for instance. Oh yeah, that's me. That's what I did. Um, I've been told you're unique. How exactly are you different? I can sing every Lady Gaga song. In too many ways to explain with precision. Suffice to say, I was one of the most advanced models at the time of my creation. But the Institute's technology has evolved since then. There is nobody else quite like me. For better or for worse. Even among other synthetics, I never felt like I truly belonged. The company of these robots provides some comfort, but I still have no home, no peers, and ever since I escaped, no purpose. I am alone. Look, I'm sorry I killed your friends. Jesus, how many times do I have to say it? Um, you said something about special hardware. You're going to need a cipher and very specific hardware to be able to read the data contained in the module. Or a cipher and another synthetic human. You know, perhaps this is the time to ask yourself, 
How much do you really know about whoever sent you here? He's, uh, well, actually, he's not an old man, but I keep calling him Grams. I think it's time for me to decide what to do. And? And it's time to party! Wait, I have an idea. If, uh, if I tried to remove the block, would you be forced to try to stop me? I... I wouldn't. It appears that the Institute made a serious programming oversight. But do you even know how to remove the block? Here, let me try something. You take your pants off. I think it worked. You did it. So, can I get that data module now? You did deserve it. But please, use it wisely. In the wrong hands, it could be an extremely dangerous tool. I hope you know what you're doing. Now I'm gonna give it to some crazy asshole. I wanna ask a few more questions. What do you wish to know? Did removing the module affect you in any way? A minute ago, I knew exactly what was contained in that module. I tried to copy the data into my other memory drives, but with no success. Not even after you removed the block. Now I know only what others told me about it. It's a difficult thing to describe. Imagine having something torn out of your memory. You know there's something missing, but you don't know what it is. It's a very peculiar feeling. Well, if it turns out it's every episode of Peppa Pig, I'll, I'll give it back to you. You mentioned other memory drive? What's in, what's in those? Can I rip those out too? Unclassified historical and scientific information. Oh, right. Boring. Take this. It's my way of saying thank you for the mercy you've shown me today. Farewell, stranger. Ooh. Hey, babies. Oh, Jinx, these guys got names. Jinx, Rusty. Jinx and Rusty and Rusty and Jinx and Jinx and Rusty and Rusty and Jinx. Freedom. I have reached the Mojave. After Chicago, and having once again been located by the Institute's agents, I started wondering if I had some sort of tracking device implanted in me. Adams never spoke of it. Perhaps he was unaware of it as well. If my suspicions are correct, then there is truly no place I can hide. Not even here, a continent apart from my pursuers. Maybe it was a mistake to think I could ever be truly free. Maybe there is no such thing as true freedom. Hey, who's eating these? Who's eating this food over here? Or I guess he turned that into metal. I don't know what happened to him. All right, we should go to China. I drop this. I feel bad I took it. From Probably not. All right. Well, see you later. Like I said, I'm gonna give this to some crazy asshole. I know you said don't hand it over to anyone dangerous. But we do have to complete the quest. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. You wake, up, you wake up a couple hours later, still feeling a little dizzy. As you go through your pockets, you realize the data module is gone. You motherfuckers. Shit. Am I... Am I, like... Damn it. Well, time to tell the boss. <laughs> I done... I done goofed. <laughs> Hey, uh, so, real bad news. Also, yes, I am wearing a mask. Yes? Bad news, I got blindsided on the way back. They took the data module. Yes, I apologize for that. I hope you didn't find the experience too unpleasant. You were, wait, what? I'm afraid I was the one behind the attack on you. As I said before, I couldn't risk putting myself in an inferior position by letting you have a bargaining chip of such value in your possession. So I had someone follow you and relieve you of it as soon as possible. So you couldn't trust me with it, but you trusted someone else? You had me followed just on this last thing or the entire time? The latter. You must understand a man in my position cannot afford to blindly trust a stranger. No, certain precautions are an absolute necessity. However, you did fulfill your end of the bargain, 
And now I'm gonna fulfill mine. Here's your compensation. Why'd you even send me in the first place? I was testing you. I tested both your abilities and your willingness to do what's necessary. And you did not disappoint. You know what? I don't blame you, but I'll be sure I'll be a lot more careful around you from now on. Alright, had enough of your bullshit. I'll be more careful. Good, you're learning. However, I have no more tests for you at the moment. Still, I want you to be available when and if I require your services again someday. Sure thing, I'm always up for earning more caps. Glad to hear it. A few things I'd like to talk about. I'm listening. Uh, Android said the module requires a cipher and some special hardware, or another Android. What exactly are you implying? Are you a robot? Nothing, I'm just curious to know if you have everything you need. You, I think you know. Yeah, baby. You're wondering if I'm a human being. Oh, you. Are you really so threatened by my intelligence that you have to resort to such theories? Just to have an excuse for your inferiority. Well, you know what? Leave whatever you want. If it will make you feel better about yourself, it's of no consequence to me. I'm gonna murder you. Of course. But before you go, there is one thing I need you to know with absolute certainty. Wherever you go, whatever you do, to whomever you talk, I'll know. I'll always be keeping my eye on you. Uh, you realize you sound like a stalker. I believe we're done here. You can escort yourself out. You screwed your asshole. You your asshole in your asshole. Has everything been dealt with? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Time to go outside to see if anything happens. Alright, is that all of World of Secrets, everyone? I believe it may be. Let's see what we got. Has everything been dealt with? Alright. You guys got names now. Alright. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna wait a few days and see if anything else happens. If not, um, we'll conclude it, so we'll be right back. Alright everyone, that is gonna do it for World of Secrets. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, this is very sequel baity. I'm 100% sure there's going to be a sequel unless the mod author decides not to make a sequel. So maybe we'll have a sequel. Maybe we won't. If we don't, then I'll go kill Professor Robot in there. And if not, then uh, then I guess we'll kill him in the next sequel. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. And I shall see you in the karate future. Karate! <laughs> Sorry, X-Man. That was, that was pretty mean. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. I can't, I can't karate anyone. Hey, lady! Do you like karate? Mm. <laughs> Away! No one cares I did karate.